And on today's show, the four-step lead nurturing funnel that weeds out the tire kickers. Part four of this week's series, Easy Marketing for Instant Results, with award-winning marketer and business growth strategist, Jeremiah Demeray. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician and Innsmark. Let's get down to business. Welcome to the show, Jeremiah. Thank you, Steve. Day four, how are you doing? Doing great. Well, today we're talking about a four-step lead nurturing. Sounds a bit maternal for me. Okay. But before we do that, why don't you talk about what we're gonna talk about today on your giveaway. Absolutely. So today for everybody, obviously, you know, we, we're big fans of your show. We think you're giving a lot of value to the community. So we want to give back with Steve. And if you go to agencygrowthacademy.com forward slash Steve, in honor of our good friend Steve, you'll be able to download the very template we're going to go through. And this is a very simple to implement funnel that'll help you screen out the people that come in as a lead and also the people you might already have in your database. Well, I have to say, most of us know we, we try to do something on the web and all we have is tire kickers. We have people come to our seminar, they're just plate lickers. Mm -hmm. We're trying to eliminate the people that are really gaming our system and trying to reduce that so that we can actually talk to people who really want to talk to us about our services. Absolutely. And that's why the nurturing funnel is so important. And Steve, I know you got a nurturing side of your personality and, and really in all seriousness though, we, we know that you give a lot. And for people who are big uh, philanthropists and people who uh, give a lot, you notice that it's not something that has to happen one time, right? You don't all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, drop a million bucks or a hundred thousand dollars and everyone thinks you're amazing. It's, it's a process. It's a, it's a period of time that you have to find out what your mm -hmm. passion is and who you're going to give to. And it's funny, but you can translate that into the marketing world that taking somebody from completely jaded, wants to abuse or game the system mm -hmm. that you've put in place to somebody who's truly interested in leaning forward and wants to know more about your mm -hmm. products and services does not happen in an instant. Mm -hmm. It happens in a process of time. Would you agree? Yes, and so really what we're talking about is kind of a system. It's a filtering system. That's right. Kind of a sorting system. Exactly. And I, I really want to come to the, I really like this because this is artful in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's not just getting leads now. It's coming to the place where I can actually sort and sift out out. That's right. And I love the kind of gauntlet, the tributary of thought that you have to go through to finally come, oh, these are my serious people. Yeah. And it really, it's, it's a shift in psychology, Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, when we buy leads and we're chasing after these people, the psychology is that I need you, right? The advisor thinks in his mind, mm -hmm. I need you. I need you to make that sale. But the change in psychology that happens in a nurturing funnel is that I don't need you, mm -hmm. that I have the gold. You're out there suffering with the poor retirement plan, uh, the 401k that's not performing, and I've got things like index life annuities, and I've got uh, products and services that would put you in a much better place. I don't need you, you're the one who needs me. Mm -hmm. And we don't say that in an arrogant way, we say mm -hmm. that in a very supportive and an ed educational way, but when you change the tables, you'll see that the, the quality of conversations mm -hmm. that you have are much higher. You stop wasting time with people who are wasting your time and you deal with a higher level clientele because, Steve, it's the old marketing analogy, the psychological analogy. What happens if all of a sudden I tell you, let's say this keyboard uh, is here in front of us and I say, Steve, you cannot have this keyboard. What goes on in your mind? Why? Yeah. Why? And then all of a sudden there's some value associated mm -hmm. to it, right? You'll want this keyboard, mm -hmm. right? But if it's there and I say, Steve, this keyboard and this mouse come free, you're like, yeah, okay, it's mm -hmm. not really worth anything. Right? So that's how we want to position you as an advisor, is we want to position you as the authority and the nurturing process will help to qualify folks so that if they're not the right kind of person to talk to, guess what? The process takes that out of the way mm -hmm. and does it on the front end. And by the way, it does it automatically. So you don't have to spend your time in the phone or you don't have to spend the time in front of the person. Well, there's the beauty and probably sometimes the unintended consequences of being online because online is really the law of large numbers. Mm -hmm. It really is. But with the law of large numbers comes the people that really are just gaming our, the gaming the system. And these are people I want to pre-qualify. So I love this idea. When we come back from the break, mm -hmm. I want to have Jeremiah walk us through. We're going to go to the board, let him draw a little bit, and walk us through the four-step process to really get down to the people that we really want to talk to. It's not how much money you make for your clients, it's how much money they get to keep, especially in retirement. But retirement income could cause Social Security benefits to be taxed. One tax advantage alternative is life insurance designed as a non-modified endowment contract that can generate tax-free income without taxing Social Security benefits. These contracts offer differing funding options depending upon your client's risk tolerance. For more information on how life insurance can be part of your retirement planning, just email me at steve at downtobusiness.tv. 
Brought to you by Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. Welcome back to the second segment. As you can see, we're ready to do our black border, as we call our Mondo Pad examples and displays. Jeremy, I'll walk us through this because I love the idea of getting people to come in mm -hmm. and talk as clients, but I want to sort through it. I want to have a kind of a mechanism that will actually sift through the people that are really interested in what I have. Yeah, absolutely. And what's great about a lot of the tools that are online right now is most of them cost almost nothing to do, and there's a ton of people to help you build what we're about to show you right now. So let's just take the first step in the process, Steve. This is the traffic, right? So we'll just use a little bar graph to show that you know, you've got prospects coming in. So this could be from the lead company you're buying leads from. It could be people who have seen a YouTube video of you and have decided to come to your website. It's basically any way that you can get somebody to come in through this first step in the funnel, okay? So that's step number one, is getting traffic to this funnel, right? And there's a whole methodology around that, but today we wanna, most, most of you know how to get people to come to you. The trick is how do you get to qualify them, right? Okay, here's the first thing you do. The first thing you do is you wanna give away something of high value, something that will allow me to take the next step in my evaluation process of either an investment product, a life insurance product, an annuity product, a retirement product, whatever it is that you're selling, give them something that will allow them to go step number one. Because that's really what people want. They want direction. And most people are willing to give you at least their first name and email address in order to go to the next step. So the next thing you would do is set up a very simple page that maybe highlights a report. You know, Steve, I know you're an avid writer and a lot of you out there have experience writing. So if you have a hard time maybe writing something down like the five top strategies on how to do X, you know, just dictate it to yourself in maybe a tape recorder into your phone and then go to Fiverr or find somebody online who can transcribe that for about five to ten dollars. And now you have a report, Steve, right? So it's mm -hmm. not that hard to do. So you give that away and the only thing you do is you have a little form on this page and the only thing you should ask for is the first name and the email address. Because what happens is if we ask for more information at this stage, it's kind of like asking somebody to marry you, Steve, on the first date. Hmm. It's way too much, right? Like, you know, you go on the first date, it's nice, but you're not asking for a full-on commitment. So don't ask them all their financial history. All they want to do is take the next step. Now, once they've taken that next step, using some simple email solution like GetResponse or AWeber, you can build what's called a nurturing funnel. And these are a series of automatic emails that will go out every day, every other day, and you can kind of set it up. And every day you just give them a little more advice on how to take the next step. So these little boxes here will say that they represent little emails. Okay, Steve? So here we go, we've got just a couple of emails. Maybe we have four emails that go out. Hey, thanks so much for downloading. Hey, have you thought about this? Here's another tip, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, after they've opted in and they've got this report, the next page in the funnel, so imagine this is a, an entire process that somebody can go through in the matter of 10 minutes. Hmm. So I come in, I put my information in, right? On the thank you page, I have a little link. Hey, thanks so much. Click here to download the report. Always give them right away what they came for because if they have to hunt for it, now they're going to feel deceived, right? Oh, I, I gave you my email address mm -hmm. and you just were trying to get my email and you're a spammer, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the best thing is above this, and this is what nobody does today, but we're seeing incredible results in the field now, is to put a video of yourself thanking them, congratulating them on the first step, and then maybe sharing a little bit of some of the success stories that you've had helping people. Now, of course, if you've got all these governing bodies looking at what you're doing, you're going to have to tailor it a little bit to make sure you're compliant. But maybe you just want to help acknowledge where people are. So, Steve, you know, for example, are you having a hard time figuring out what are the best investment products out there? Have you, been found, have you found yourself searching online, watching YouTube videos, trying to make sense of it all? You know, hi, my name's Jeremiah Demery, and I'd like to give you a strategy today that you could use for, without even hiring me. And then you give away something mm -hmm. else that's of value. Now, underneath this, now after you've given them the report, you say, if you're interested in setting up a one-on-one -on -one strategy session, go ahead and click on this link. And then that link goes to a form. And now at this form, you ask them more questions. You ask them things mm -hmm. like, what is your full name? You know, uh, why are you looking for an investment product right now? Why do you think you'd be a good client for our firm? And by doing that, that goes to that point of reversing mm -hmm. the psychology. Now they have to prove to you that it would be worth your time to make the investment in them. Mm. And whenever you take that approach, now all of a sudden you're not chasing after people, 
they're coming to you. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far, Steve? Are we so this pretty a, good? This is your four-step process, and the whole issue here is to gain respect, get the command of respect, mm -hmm. and I like it. It's not hard. This is pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah, and there's one last piece that will actually help put these people right on your calendar for you, is once they filled out the form, the next step is to go to an online booking system. So there's tools out there like Time Trade and Schedule Once. And basically, you can put, Steve, your own personal calendar or the pieces of it that you want the public to see. And then if I go to your page, I can click on a time that works for me and simply sync up our calendars together. And then when you wake up in the morning, you're going to open up your Outlook or Gmail or whatever mm -hmm. you're using. And you'll see, oh, look, I already have an appointment. Somebody has scheduled an appointment with mm -hmm. me. So this process can be done automatically. And Steve, by the way, the only thing you really have to focus on once this is done is getting people to that page. And once you've got people to that page, and by the way, you can find people online to do this. You don't mm -hmm. have to do this yourself. You don't have to worry about all sure. that stuff. And in your emails, always drive people back to this page. Hey, I'm so glad you downloaded that. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, here's my video. Hey, thanks so much. I hope you got some value. Here's my video. Same thing, because all you're trying to do is put people into that funnel so that you pre-qualify them and you weed out the tire kickers. This is a really easy idea, and I really like it because we spend so much time with tire kickers and plate lickers. This is a great way to pre-qualify my client. Huge, Jeremiah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, before moving forward with any of the ideas on our show, always consult your tax advisor, legal counsel, or your broker-dealer compliance officer. Missed an episode? Just hop out to our site, downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. Want to email me? Just write me at steve at downtobusiness.tv. And remember, you could be wiser as an Ash Brokerage Advisor. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you tomorrow.